Each year, more and more people are diagnosed with prediabetes, a serious but reversible health condition that puts them at risk for developing not only type 2 diabetes, but also heart disease and strokes. It has been estimated that more than 88 million American adults, more than one in three, have prediabetes. And the vast majority of these people are unaware that they have the condition. There are two main types of diabetes, and both are the result of a defect in insulin production or activity. First, let's talk about type 1 diabetes. A person with type 1 diabetes does not produce any insulin or produces it in very minimal amounts. Insulin is a vital hormone that allows glucose to enter the body's cells to provide them with energy. They must rely on injected insulin to regulate their blood sugar levels. Typically, type 1 diabetes appears in children, and the exact cause is still largely unknown. It is generally thought to be caused by an autoimmune process by which the body mistakenly destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. There is unfortunately no cure. Type 2 diabetes tends to present later in life. It's often referred to as adult-onset diabetes. People who develop type 2 diabetes can produce insulin, but they don't make enough, and their cells respond poorly to the insulin that is created. Now let's move on to prediabetes. A person with prediabetes has blood sugar levels that are higher than normal, an indication that there may be an issue with insulin production or activity. Prediabetes can be reversed when care is taken with diet, exercise, and other lifestyle factors. Symptoms of prediabetes can include fatigue, frequent urination, and increased thirst. However, most people with prediabetes do not experience symptoms. As many as 90% of people with prediabetes don't know they have it. That's why it's critical that most people over the age of 35 be screened for prediabetes and diabetes every three years. 